because we don't have much time, I, I want to just pin down whether, for you personally, it would be a bigger problem for the party to go into the general election, the presidential race, with Donald Trump or Ted Cruz. We haven't talked much about Cruz, but I think it's fair to say there is no more unpopular Republican senator in the Senate amongst his own peers in the Republican Party than Ted Cruz. So which, you know, it, it's a, like pick your poison. Which one would you pick? I think the bigger issue for Republicans is Tr Cruz also is behind Mrs. Clinton in the polls. Party leaders, whether they're the Washington establishment, the, the establishment, by the way, I've learned, Stephen, is whoever you don't like oh, you're, is who uh, you I call. I thought you were the Washington establishment. Well, when, you're from Ye when you live in <laughs> Yazoo City, Mississippi, population 12,000, and you're part of the establishment, the establishment is really sunk. In well, it's state. a while since you made your money in Yazoo City. You made plenty of money in Washington, but let, let's leave that on one side. The bottom line is this, can you, and you, you obviously care about your party, and you've thought about Trump, and you've thought about Cruz, and you haven't given me the impression that you really agree with either of them on most issues, can you imagine a scenario where a third candidate, a new candidate, comes into the arena at the convention and actually gets the nomination? Four things could happen. Trump could get to 1237 by the first ballot. If he does not, I think it's very hard for him to stay up as high as he was. I think he probably goes down on the second ballot just because they have not had a strong ground game and they have not worked hard about who got actually elected delegate. Cruz finishes second on the first ballot, I think maybe rises, but I don't know that he'll get to 1237. Could it be the guy that finished third or the guy that finished fourth that comes up? or? Could it be somebody didn't run at all? Paul Ryan, the Speaker uh, of the House for the Republican Party. I think he has made very plain that he is not a candidate. My point for you, Stephen, every one of those four scenarios is a bad scenario for the Republicans. That, that number one has got 70% disapproval among the American people and a third of Republicans say they won't vote for him. Number two, just not as well known and has very high negatives to people who know him best and not number four him. Number three, it's the guy that finished third or fourth. Number four, any one well, of what those. What you're telling me is any, your party is doomed. No, I'm not telling you that. Well, what I'm telling like you it. is after the, Demo after the Republican convention, the Democrats have their convention, we're not going to have a bump. The likelihood is we will have a dip. But I remember 76 when Ford was behind 33 points the week the convention was over that lots of Reagan people said they weren't going to vote for Ford, they weren't going to help, they weren't going to contribute, they went home, their feelings were hurt, they were mad, whatever. By October, most of them were back helping Ford because they didn't want Jimmy Carter. And let me tell you, Jimmy Carter's a walk in the park compared to Hillary Clinton among, in the eyes of Republicans. Well. So I think, thank goodness, our convention is in July. It'll give us a few weeks to get over it and people to start coming home. Gerald Ford lost by two points. Down 33, disastrous convention, lost by two points. I haven't forgotten that. There's a lesson there.